Hello there, this video is to show you different ways of closing positions using the ClickAlgo Switchback Forex trading system for the CTrader trading platform. Um, so in a previous video we showed you how positions are opened, now we're going to show you how they close. Um, there's a few different scenarios to actually do that and I'll just scroll down and show you all of them, okay? So if I just bring down, oh, scroll down. For starters you've got one here saying trade control, okay? max trades per day. This won't necessarily close trades, but this will only actually allow you to open so many trades per day. And the max losing trades per day as well when there's two losing trades. So that's not closing trades, that's just preventing you from opening more trades. But under the Friday stop time, you can specify on a Friday, you can set the hours or minutes, so I can do 17.30, um, close open trades. So on a Friday afternoon, just before the markets close, if you don't want positions to be open over the weekend, you can close all of your positions by selecting yes for this. Okay, that's one of them. Um, if I scroll down, show you the next one. Trade cycle pause. Okay, in this, in this, this is actually a very useful. Um, we find this makes a big difference actually. What happens is the the Dinapoli stochastic, as we mentioned before, which is shown here on a one-hour time frame. When um, you specify, say you can specify the time frame you want. So say you do choose a one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, if the uh, signal line is above or below the threshold, which is either 80 or 20, but on this chart you can see it's 70 or 30, but we've chosen 80 or 20, and it goes the opposite direction. So if the one hour Dinapoli stochastic has reverse direction, close all your positions, okay, and stop trading. That's another one. Um, if I scroll down. Trade targets. Uh, again, you could. The reason for this trade targets is you can specify a price on the screen, so you can identify strong support and resistance levels manually. So you can look at the the bigger time, the bigger picture, like a weekly or daily time frame, and you can see where there's a very strong um, support line or resistance line. You can set the price for those so that it actually stops trading and closes your positions. The idea is that if you have, you don't want to position, you, if all the trend says, for example, buy, and you're hitting a strong um, support line or resistance line, you don't want to actually open a position. So this will prevent new positions opening and it will close any existing positions, okay? Um, if I scroll down again, I'm on a VPS, that's why it's running a little bit slow. Okay, so you've got here stop loss. So that's quite a straightforward way of uh, closing positions. And then you've got at the bottom, you've got pause at news release. If you use the news release manager, which you should do, you should get that for free with this product. Um, just before a news release, it will actually close the positions for you and stop trading. So this prevents, again, because it's a trend um, um, strategy, even if all the positions are saying buy, and the fundamentals and news release comes out and it goes the opposite direction, you're going to lose, you're going to, you know, if it goes really fast, by the time it actually gets filled and closes your position, you could have lost a lot of money. So we stress, if you read up about the news release manager robot on the product page, there is a product page you can find out. It tells you why you should be using uh, for Forex a news release manager robot. Sometimes you don't need to, sometimes you can just ride out the news releases. But um, Again, if you do close at news releases, that might really increase your drawdown. So you'll just have, exp have to experiment with it, really. Um, I missed one out here, which is equity level. So when your equity drops below a certain value, um, you can close positions. So if you say, um, I don't want to lose more than a thousand pounds, if it goes below a thousand pounds, I want to come out, and then that will stop that. And you can you can decide if you want to include that or not. Okay. Um, the other one is we've added recently is include drawdowns and stop. Um, there's another video actually that does actually explain this. And in this scenario is is that um, if your drawdown at any one time is below a certain value, like here it's 1.51, but there it was, I don't know, it went up quite high, I think, 3.6. So if your drawdown, which is which means that um, if you have a position that's in the red, so you, you're losing, say, 500 pounds, that's a percentage of your drawdown gone. So the actual video... Um, if you go and look at one of the other videos, this will explain this feature in a lot more detail because it's dedicated to this feature, okay? So I won't go into too much detail on that. Um, again, you've got one here called um, Include Take Profit Target. So you can specify a take profit target and then you can close a percentage of that target, okay? So you can say that when I'm gaining 50 pips, I want to close 50% of my volume, but let the other 50% of the volume run. Um, another... Um, 
way of closing, but that's not actually closing the position, but that is kind of partially closing it. So you've got reverse take profit. Again, that closes um, a percentage of your profit on the reverse take profit. So it means that when the price goes up and reverses down a certain percentage, you take a certain percentage, okay? It's a very good feature, that one, actually. Uh, trailing stop, which is pretty straightforward. Um, when the when the a position is, say, eight pips, um, gaining eight pips, you trail behind one pip, okay? Uh, break even, which is straightforward. Uh, when um, when a position is say I don't know 15 pips up, gaining 15 pips, you want to break break even the stop loss um, to the entry point plus one pips. You can specify the extra pips you want to put there. And uh, includes this is another feature. Yeah, we've not we've not actually actively used this, but this was requested by customers. Include losing trade timer. So that um, if a position closes with a loss, you wait a certain period of time before you start trading again. Now, this is a very, very useful feature, actually, because normally towards the end of a trading cycle, so if you can imagine you've got five time frames, um, you start opening positions just as the trend is starting to change and go the other way. And uh, those positions ultimately lose with big losses. So what this is saying is if a position does lose because of uh, for any reason whatsoever, wait a certain period of time to give that um, the trend of, the, of the, the symbols trend to change in its own way before you start managing opening positions again, okay? And that also, uh, we've got one again here for include winning trade timer. You can do the same there. And you can specify how many hours you want to stop. You know, it could be 500 hours, one hour, 60 hours, 24 hours for one day or anything like that. So you've got many, many uh, ways of closing a position to suit your strategy. So you can, you can mold this um, system to suit whatever you want to do with your strategy okay and if you wanted to know how to open a position there is another video that actually tells you how positions are opened using this uh, system okay